So much excitement surrounding Michigan's football team following a successful 2011 season that saw them finally defeat Ohio State and win the Sugar Bowl. Today, Brady Hoke's team was on display at the Big House for their annual spring game. And Whitmer alum Kevin Coger back in the house as well, visiting with his former teammates. Not a usual game format as it was a running clock throughout. Thomas Rawls pretty much the highlight of the day as he breaks tackles for the score. He had both of the touchdowns in the game. Denard Robinson didn't play after the first series. He went two for three for 13 yards while recovering a fumble, meaning Devin Gardner saw plenty of time. Impressive throw here through the air as he connects with Jeremy Gallen down inside the 10 yard line and on the ground as well, breaking free and getting inside the red zone again. Head coach Brady Hoke sees a more physical team than he had last year, but there is still plenty of room for improvement. The frustrating thing, we put three snaps on the ground. I don't care who it is. At quarterback, nor do I care who's it at, who it is at center. You know, on second and long, we jump offside defensively. I didn't feel tackling like we need to. That that's concerning. But in the body of work, there were some awfully good things during the course of the spring. The team got better. The defense played well. So uh, that's the, that's hats off to the defense that uh, they played well. They stopped us a lot, <laughs> a lot of three and outs. But uh, I mean, we 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 made some steps forward. Of course, there was a local presence on the field today. Wauseon alum Elliot Miller will face heavy competition for a starting spot on the offensive line as he goes into his senior season. And Clay alum Jordan Kovacs, the safety, will take on more of a leadership role as a senior as he has seen his career improve immensely since he arrived in Ann Arbor. Light years ahead of where I was before. Um, but I know where my roots are, you know, I know what, what got me here. I know that it's not all athleticism, you know, it's, it's being a student of the game and it's being a hard worker and that's what, you know, it's kind of always kept me hungry. Kovacs and Miller were joined by St. John's alum, Jack Miller. The center redshirted last year as a freshman. Coach Oak sees a lot of potential in the Perrysburg native. Every day he's learning how to play center at the Division One level. You know, I think there's been improvement and some footwork and, and the things that you look at, uh, you know, from a technical side of it, strength gains are going to be huge, you know, for him. But I think Jack's made progress. And the familiar names weren't all on the field today. Former Heisman Trophy winner and Super Bowl MVP Desmond Howard was in attendance. Howard now works as an analyst for ESPN, and he poised, posed questions to both Brady Hoke and Denard Robinson following uh, – the game and answering some himself, giving a former player's perspective on what spring practice is like. This is a critical part of the season for most college teams. When spring ball ends, the whole void that you have until fall camp begins is something that the players, they must take the onus on themselves to get out there and get better. 